Guys, Saturday morning, it is 11.23 a.m. and my day is upside down. It's chaotic, things are going sideways and blah, 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 blah. You know the story, right? So, what do I do when these things happen? Well, there's a principle I want to talk to you about and it's called, um, it's, a, it's a Chinese proverb, but it's a, it, it basically says, slow is fast. And I know it doesn't make sense at first, but give it some thought logically. Slow is fast. Basically what they mean with slow is fast is you need to slow down in order to be able to go fast again. Um, if you only go fast, 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 there's never time to actually regulate and check and going on what's going on. So normally when it feels chaotic and you're feeling that overwhelm that makes you go all strange and not operating at your best, best level, best performance, when that happens, um, what you do is you stop. So what I did is I stopped. Um, obviously you'll see in, in the videos and things that I've got this piece of paper and um, I'll definitely do a, a video, a how-to on this and what happens is you need to stop and bring yourself to a point where you can say what's the next right thing to do and for me the next right thing to do here was to stop and get clarity on what's going on so I stopped, I got to a point where I can clear my head and understand oh cool there's what we go and I've got a certain process for that which I'll, I'll, I'll explain in the video and then and then I moved on and now I can go and have a kick ass day for the remaining of the day simply because I was able to stop myself in the moment when that happens and slow is fast when you slow down you actually buy yourself time Think about that one. I know it doesn't make sense now, but you'll give it some thought for this weekend. When you slow down, you buy yourself time. When you go fast, especially when you're speaking, you're speaking like this. If I slow down, you are listening to me in a proper way now, and I can get myself across slowly and easily. So you see, that was a deliberate slowdown, but I got your attention because everything slows down. So get your own attention, slow down, stop, get clear on what you need to do next, and attack. See you guys later. Cheers. What's up guys, let's talk about Saturday, you know, um, Saturday is the day where, where people feel that they want to take off and they want to slow down and they want to do all these things that they want to do. Hi guys, but um, you know, Saturday is really a, a day for you to tie up your loose ends. If you structure your week in a way that you have Monday to Friday to chase down your goals, Saturday to tidy up and clean up some loose ends and tie up some loose ends and do all those things on a Saturday and then on a Sunday you prepare for the next week and you measure every week, you just measure every week as you go, um, you really wouldn't have much issues because you will be constantly in a in a, a flow of progress and with progress comes happiness and when you are happy you can perform at your highest 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 potential simply because a successful life is also a happy life and if you are not happy you're not going to have the success success doesn't come before happiness happiness it comes it comes before so have a good Saturday guys, get after it, go kick some ass and I'll see you guys later.
What's up guys, remember you're gonna fall to your highest level of preparation. And your preparation is what will separate you from everybody else. Your separation is what will make you a professional. So, keep your preparation as high as you can so that your separation is as high as you can and that means that you will be ahead of the pack at all times. So, let's go do some shopping for planning. Right, so we've got our we've got our two tools that we need for planning. It's an A4 exam pad, and it is a A5 manuscript. So the manuscripts are hard copy. I like to use hard copies. I'll show you later why. And then obviously I use a clipboard with this, which is in my bag, which we'll pick up on later. So. At the end of the day, what you want to do is, you want to make sure that your planning match your ambitions. Alright, number two, why do you want to be planned? Well, you want to be well planned so that you can be nimble. You see, when you are clear about what you must do, when you must do it, and you are clear about your own boundaries, and you are clear about who you are, what you stand for, and what you are capable of, then you can perform at a very much at, at a very high level, at a much 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 higher level than what you do without establishing those things with yourself. So, what you want to do is you want to keep yourself prepared at the highest highest level, so that you could be nimble, as you know, with everything you've done in your life for this that has been successful and every other successful person I've come across they had plan A and they started to pursue the goal or the dream and on the way there they realized plan A was not going to do it and they had to go to plan B, plan C, plan D until they found a way to get there now that is what planning gives you planning gives you a chance to be nimble in the moment and not blow the deal and make it work find a way to make it what it needs to be to help you move your life and your goals forward so at the end of the day what you want to do is you want to make sure that your planning match your ambitions making so much so much so much progress with with my autistic daughter and um, helping her to go from non-verbal being autistic non-verbal um, to being verbal and verbal enough to be able to live a life of her own and and make choices of her of her own and choose a life that she wants to live and the progress is phenomenal and I'm meeting up with Dr. Janine Horton in a few minutes from now and I will definitely have some content for you guys um, on what she has got to say about our next steps today.
So we had an awesome meeting with Dr. Janine Horton and um, the progress is phenomenal. So now what I want to talk to you about here real quickly is measuring your results. You see in this case study with Bodhi where we are measuring the how the effects of of what the autism have on her how we measure those things is how we see that there is where's the difference and where there's no difference and where can we make improvements and where can we tighten up our games and where can we find the holes to plug them and to fix them so measuring is a key ingredient in your success if you don't measure what you do you will never know what your progress is if you don't know what your progress is it's virtually impossible to be unhappy because the moment when you know i'm making progress happiness comes so much easier guys have a good evening and i'll see you tomorrow have a good one cheers